welcome to Cartooning for Beginners lesson number five and this week we're going to do a couple of things first of all we're doing characters with rubbish superpowers and also working on the idea of using sound in our cartoons and noises so I know you're gonna have fun on this one because the characters are a little bit daft a little bit crazy and that's important. We need to have fun when we're doing these lessons. We need to be smiling and enjoying ourselves. So hopefully these will make you smile a little bit when you're drawing them. So let's get cracking and let's have some great cartoon fun. And oh, by the way, little Eric, he is having his dinner at this moment in time and he loves his dinner. So I can't interrupt him for that. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Send your work to me on Twitter, share it on Instagram and on Facebook. Also, send in your drawings to my email address, which is pete at petemckee.com. And at the very end of this lesson, not this one, but at the end of the next lesson, if you send your work in from this week's, hopefully we'll be able to put it up on the, on the screen at the very end. I know there's some brilliant, brilliant work the end of this lesson from last week's drawing session so keep at it because you're absolutely fantastic and boy are you developing you're amazing let's get on with it then see you later drawing cartoons is all about having fun and if you're smiling while you're drawing your cartoon characters or whatever it is you that you're doing if you're having fun doing that then there's going to be somebody else who will have just as much fun looking at your work so that's the golden rule if you're enjoying it, someone else will enjoy it. So let's try and do some fun things with this uh, particular lesson. And the first thing we're going to do is a cartoon character, uh, someone with a superpower, but that superpower is just totally useless and daft and ridiculous because that's what cartoon is all about. It's about being daft and ridiculous. So I want us to start with a balloon shape and that's because our char character is going to be called Balloon Boy. And Balloon Boy can only get from A to B by the velocity of his balloon. And making a trumping noise that sends him through the stratosphere. So here's our big balloon shape. And I'll just need this little knob jewel here where you blow your balloon up. There we go. So that's our starting point. We have a balloon. And our character Balloon Boy is flying through the air, making a trumping noise as he goes. Because that's our bonkers ears and our useless. Because this, this is his superpower. So let's do some eyes like we did in one of the other lessons where it's two C's. A front C and a back C. So here we do one C. And then we do another C in the opposite direction, join them together. That's great, isn't it? Right, so we're already there with this. Then let's stick some eyes in. So now we know we're drawing a cartoon character. And he's flying through the air at great speed with a trumpy noise. And he's enjoying himself. So let's give him a big cartoon fat nose. There. Brilliant. And a big smile. He's having time of his life, making this farty noise and laughing at the same time. And getting some teeth, like that. And we'll put a tongue in. So we'll put a tongue in, so we do a, a U-shape and then another U-shape just behind. And that's his tongue. And if we colour all this bit in black, like this. We have our character. Okay, so he's not really moving just yet. All he is is having a good time of his life. So let's see if we can get some movement into this little character balloon boy. Let's put some arms in, shall we? So like Superman, we'll have one arm. That's two thin lines like that. Just kind of straight through the middle of the balloon. And we'll have him pointing. So we'll curl the thumb round like that. So it's like a bent. P shape, letter P, stick a sausage forward like that. And then we'll do 
two tiny sausages next to it and that's his hand pointing forward. You'll need to practice that a few times but the more you do it the more natural it'll become doing that kind of shape hand. So it's a big sausage and two tiny sausages next to it and we've got a pointing hand like that. And then what we'll do is as though we're sort of going through a line we'll do his other arm and again two thin lines next to each other and this time we'll just do one two three four four sausages connected to each other so there he is he's flying through the air he's got his hand pointing forward with great gusto but we still don't know he's flying through the air we have to add other things to make this happen now like i said as when you let a balloon off, it makes a trumpy noise. So we're going to have to make it look like some trumpy noises coming from somewhere. And we'll do that by first doing this particular thing. A favourite of cartoonists. We do a line out and another line and another line. So we've got three lines like that, almost like an arrow pointing. And then we had some broccoli lumps. It looks like a bit of broccoli. And that's the wind escaping from the balloon. So we know now where the wind's coming from. And we know which direction he is, but still there's no movement. So what we need now is to bring some movement in. And these are done by lines, little flash lines. So we try and look like we know where the outer edge of our balloon is. We go along and then we do a line like that. And again, a long and a line like that. Wow, it's cutting through the air. And we can do a smaller one on either side too. So there he is, he's whizzing through the air with great speed. And what I'm going to do with this lesson we're doing today is add sounds. And that's using lettering. And at the end, in the top tip, I'll show you how you do your lettering and you shade it in. A little kind of cheat in a sense so here he is and we had to kind of make some kind of trumping noise that would make come from balloon boys projectile and let's go with flubber bubba bubba flubber bubba bubba so with cartooning letters we best use bold capitals and you might need some help from a grown-up if you're a young and doing this on what bold capitals look like so you can always copy a grown-up's handwriting and they will show you how to do it so there's your f and we'll do an l and what we like to do with cartoon writing is we like to crash into our next letter and overlap and underlap so there's movement and i need a u now to make the flub and a b and i'm going to put this b in here boom boom Flub and another B. Now I don't know if that's the right way, way to make a trumpy sound. You might have your own word to use and you can write that down yourself. You make your own word up for a trumpy noise. Flub, bulb, bulb. There we go, all bashing in together, so it's making a noise. And we can make these little lines here, and it gives us movement and exaggeration. And there is our balloon boy. But all superheroes have to have some kind of costume, so with balloon boy, he will like with Superman, he'll have some underpants on. So there we go, and we can do that there. There's his underpants. There is underpants. And let's I'll tell you what, because he's called Balloon Boy, I'm going to put two Bs. Balloon Boy. And do I need to put a shield over? Why not? Like that. And there's Balloon Boy. And also, before we finish this Balloon Boy, balloons are shiny, so we can do a little shiny light symbol here so we do that 
those two little shapes like sausages and a long one and a small one it shows that our balloon is shiny there we go so there's balloon boy flying through the air and how do we know he's flying through the air let's put some skyscrapers in at the bottom so just little oblongs like this randomly different size shape ones and so on and put little windows in little dashes for windows bomb 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 like this and even put a cloud in put a cloud in at the bottom we know it's in the air and there is balloon boy a little house there maybe flying through the air with his trumpy projectile so for our next cartoon character with a useless superpower we want to do a sort of a square shape kind of make it nice and big because we're going to put cartoon face in the middle of this at some point so if you've got some space and on your bit of paper just do kind of a largest squarey shape that'd be great so we've got our squarey shape and then we're going to look like we've got a lid that's popped up on our shape and there it is so the lid sticking up off of the top of our little square now once we've got that i want to join that line up with that bottom there but i'm going to join that up with a little smile a little curve so i'm just curving it like that now what we have there is a wedge shape in 3d so we started with a square we put a lid on popping off and we joined it with a little smile and we have a wedge now things that come in wedges are cheese certain types of cheese so we're going to do a big cheese is our next cartoon character and his only superpower is is that his breath stinks so we're going to do this little character now and i'm going to put his eyes in and finish him off so here we go so let's do for this one the circle and the circle behind the circle set of eyes like this and we'll stick a nose in like that and i want this guy to have a stinky breath and he likes that stinky breath so let's put some eyelids in just around about halfway on our two circles brilliant and then we're going to put one eye on one side of the circle just off the middle just off center and then put the other eye to the corner of our second eye the little pupils there so his eyes are a little glazed there he's just enjoying himself and we need a stinky mouth now so we're going to go down a little bit like we showed in lesson one when we we're doing cartoon characters and then we're going to give a big smile up like that curl it round and then bring it out like that can you see that so we went up with a curl and then brought it all the way around and over then i want to bring the line down like it's splitting it in half so now that his mouth is going to be nice and open and we're going to give him crooked teeth because he's got stinky breath so his teeth aren't really good so there we go one tooth and a second tooth and then we'll put another tooth right out there okay and remember how we did the tongue on the last one our that balloon bite we go around an end shape and just behind it copying that end shape there and we color this in black so we can tell it's the mouth and it's his gobble and it's all colored in right and let's put some arms and legs on in this little character so a bit like Balloon Boy's arms, we just want just around about the middle, two thin lines sticking out, and the same right across, just two thin lines sticking out, like that. And then let's go one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. There, we, there his hands out. And we want to put a pair of legs in. So just uh, in a bit two thin lines like we've done for his arms slightly curled if you want 
if they're curled, it gives them a little bit more bounce, a little bit more weight, rather than being rigid, rigid square lines. So there we've got it. Now, one of the most difficult things in cartooning are hands and feet. And we haven't really explored feet. So let's see if I can just simplify this character's feet for us. And I want to make some kind of triangle shape now. So what we mean by that is we go out, along and back in again. So we're sort of making a triangle where this edge, this point is longer than that point. So we have a small dip out there along the floor and we go back to the start there. So there is feet. And let's, I'll tell you what, let's just go around a little smile there at the bottom of his legs so he looks like he's got shoes on. And if we put a couple of lines like that, looks like he's got shoelaces on his shoes. So, we've got to now make this look a bit more cheesy, a bit more stinky. So let's put a little bit of bubbles on like mould, stinky cheese, little lumps and gnarly bits like that. And then we need to have stinky breath. And stinky breath comes in the form of lines and they are wiggly lines coming from his mouth. Like it's his breath. Oh, I'm not that there, we already with calming down. Sorry about that. His breath are getting too excited there. His breath is honking out. So we go wobble, 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 wobble. There. Nah. Making sound effects and pulling faces is part of the job when you're a cartoonist. So when you're drawing your cartoons, you don't be shy to make noises and pull faces because you need to know what the face looks like when you're, when you're drawing it. And uh, I do believe that people like in Disney and Pixar have mirrors by their drawing desks and they pull faces and try and draw them so they can get different expressions. So there is our, there's, there's Big Cheese, our character, and we'll just shade his eyelids in cross hatch them like we did in a previous lesson just simple lines you can color yours in make it a yellow color for stinky cheese and we can also write the word honk because honk is a cartoon word for a smell a bad smell and a couple of little exclamation lines there marks show that it's a it's been pronounced Honk, stinky smell. And you can add some other things if you want. You you add whatever you like. You might even want to make it a Swiss cheese and put holes in. And if it was like that and you did a hole, see if you did a circle and you did a, followed another line in around on the inside of your circle and coloured that bit in, it's like a hole. And I'll just show you that just to one side. So you do a circle, you copy that inner line, the outer line there with the inner line, and if you colour that in, that gives you a hole. So if I did that like that, there we go, a piece of cheese with a hole in it, it's going through. So you can just add what you want with your little character, but there he is, there's big cheese. And his only superpower is he's got stinky breath. Right, for our third character, we're going to do a fantastic character, this one. This is going to be a girl, and her superpower is that she can shout so loud, she can break windows. So, and this character is quite intense how to draw this, but you're so good now following all these lessons. You're amazing. I've seen your pictures and what you do is brilliant. So I know you can do this character. But you're going to have to follow along with what I'm going to tell you to do. And I know you can. So first of all, let's do a big backwards C. Like that. Okay, we got that. Nice big C. And then... We're going to go and do a circle around that C all the way around and join up. And then I want you to draw. Have you got that there? You see that? Then I'm going to draw a wiggly worm 
like that. Okay, we've got that. I've got a wiggly worm. That's not a worm, by the way, but that's the sort of shape I can try and explain what it is. And then we do another curl going through and just around the back of that wiggly worm. And then we're going to put some teeth in. We've got one U shape, two U shapes, three U shapes, and again, one, two, three, as many as you want. They're just teeth, and you can have as many gaps. It's up to you. I'll do another one there. Okay, so now you're getting a semblance of what this character is going to look like. Let's put some eyes in, and let's just do them like you would draw a bird flying in the sky, like that. And let's put a little nose in. Okay. So can you tell now our character looks like they're shouting really loud. Let's put an ear in. So we've got it around about halfway. Let's go a little bit down. Just past halfway. A little ear. And let's put some hair in. So just at the top of our circle, all the way down to the top of the ear. I'm going to put a ponytail in just behind the back there. And maybe the hint of one just behind it. Like that. Now we need to colour this in. So we'll have to colour the mouth in. Like this. I'll try and do it as quickly as I can. And squeaky. Quickly and squeakly. That's it, we're nearly there. Bada -bum, bada -bum, bada -bang. There we go. Now we can really tell that's a mouth shouting, can't we? You can obviously colour this character's hair in any colour you like. I'm choosing black because that's all I've got. And sometimes just using black and white is quite powerful. There we go. There's our gorgeous, gorgeous shouty girl. Let's put a dress on for her. And a bit like uh, the first time we did cartoon characters in lesson number one. We do that sort of slightly skewed square shape, so it's a little bit out at the bottom than it is at the top. And we're going to put some arms in, and the arms we're going to do are the same type of arms we've used for our last two characters, Balloon Boy and Big Cheese. So they're just thin lines, and we start them right in that corner there, on that edge. One, two, one, and a thin line to kill ground. Nice and slightly bent, and then one, two, three, four, or you can even do three if you want. I don't care. It's your character. You can do what you want. Let's put some legs in, like uh, the big cheese's legs. So two thin lines, two thin lines, slightly bowed, and then remember those triangly sort of feet. We slightly go out at the back along the bottom and then back up to where we started out at the back along the bottom and back to where we started and we can put a u-shape in just near where our leg starts like that and let's color those in as well so we can see the colored in sounds now i don't have a name for this character like I did for the other two, Balloon Boy and Big Cheese, which are characters I just made up for these lessons. And I want you, when you've done these, to come up with your own useless superheroes. Superheroes with stupid superpowers that are not very practical. And I want to just, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this girl. I'm going to just give her a stripy top like this. You can do whatever you want with your character. You give them a different kind of costume to wear. There we go. And just some stripy leggings too. 
Right then, so to emphasize that our character is shouting, we have to do sound lines. And this time, because they're shouting, they're just going straight out. And it's one from the mouth like this. And she's bellowing. She's bellowing a word. And we're going to have to write that word down so we know what it is that she's shouting. And I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, she's cheeky, so she's going to say a silly word. And what I'm doing with this word is I am putting it behind the character. So it's that louder words. They're drowning herself out and everybody. So a big circle like this. Oh my word, what's she saying? Shout poo. There we go. I've noticed this girl. And then if we wanted to, we could do an exclamation mark to emphasize how loud she's shouting to. So there we go. And bang, more lines, more expression. And there she is. Shouting a big word, nice and loud. Our top tip how do we shade in cartoon language cartoon writing so it looks a bit 3d well one way i like to do it little rule is to the left and to the bottom and what i mean by that is i draw a line or shading on the left hand side of your lettering and at the bottom of the lettering so to the left and the bottom. So there's the bottom there of that line and slightly to the left. So if I colour that in, now, so we're to the left of that line, got coloured in and the bottom of that line to the left and then the bottom, so again, to the left of this line, so anything on the left hand side, like that. And the bottom of this letter, two, and we can colour that in. Like that. And again, to the left of this line, to the left of this line, to the left of that line the left of that line and the left of that and bottom and that's the bottom there so that gets coloured in and that's the bottom there. oh and there's a bottom so colour it in And that's how we make 3D cartoon writing. And don't forget, if you can, it takes practice. Try and crash into the letters next to it. Bumping into them gives it more life. And then look at that, a bit of movement. Follow those lines around the top. Just give it extra emphasis. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it all. See you for the next lesson.